going down that short side. Intercepted early. And the opening try coming up here for Christchurch Girls High School, Poppy Baxter. Kia ora, hula vinaka, maloi lele. Welcome back. We've loved seeing all the celebrations across the rugby community of last night's award winners. Great to have you back here tonight as we present our second episode of awards. Let's get into it with a welcome from Canterbury Rugby's community rugby manager, Fiona Smith. Kia ora and welcome to the 2022 Canterbury Rugby Awards. 2022 was another season impacted by COVID and our volunteers dealt with vaccine certificates, COVID plans and waves of illness. It is a testament to the quality of the people that work across our community that rugby was delivered as planned to our 15,000 players every week. We hope you enjoy these awards and look forward to seeing you all again soon. Alrighty everyone, it's time to move on to our age group awards. The women's game is exploding in popularity. Players, fans and partners are excitedly leading the charge to trailblaze the game. With our women's program strengthening each year, we're celebrating an up-and-coming athlete in Lauren Edwards. The Canterbury Women's Under-18 Player of the Year is Lauren Edwards. Lauren is a powerhouse tight-head prop who has gone from strength to strength this season. Not only has she developed her set piece, she has added a strong ball carry into her game. Lauren's superb season playing both first 15 at Christchurch Girls High and senior girls at high school old boys elevated her into the Canterbury under 18 red side where she continued to showcase her powerful ball carry and scrummaging. Lauren is always looking to learn but more importantly help grow her younger teammates. Off the field Lauren is growing into a true leader and this was showcased at top four and Canterbury red. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty surprising. Yeah, I didn't know if, didn't see that one coming, but yeah, pretty happy. I've dedicated a bit of time to rugby along with all these girls. We've all put in the time, the effort, yeah, sacrificed some pretty big things, so yeah. It's awesome being around people who are also trying to aim for the top, which is pretty awesome. Everyone's willing to put in the time, so I reckon just go for it. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome work Lauren, so proud of you. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. As with all of our awards, we celebrate the whole person, someone who dedicates their skill, leadership and mind to grow not only themselves, but those around them. Let's hear about Samantha Spence and her contribution in the Women's Development Team. The 2022 Women's Development Player of the Year is awarded to Sammy Spence. Sammy was a true asset to the team this year with an exceptional skill set. She worked hard to develop and strengthen her knowledge and was always open to growth and developing herself. Sammy brought a lot of fun and laughter to their environment, offered great ideas and suggestions and was a favourite amongst the team. Aside from her natural talent, Sammy was regarded for her coachability and applying herself to the program 110%. That's pretty, pretty cool for me, especially this is my first year down in Canterbury, um, coming from the Bay of Plenty, coming down here and I just feel like I've just, um, all the walls are broken down and I've just, just running with, grabbed the ball and just running with it really. The career opportunities are spiralling um, for the generation that's coming through, like so for, for the older girls that are starting to hang up their boots, like they'll be kicking themselves, wishing it was like, you know, they had all these opportunities that we're having now. So I'm like super grateful to be part of like this movement and the equity and equality in the, the sport. The Dennis Young Under 19 Men's Award is a very special one awarded to an up-and-coming player that demonstrates traits Dennis Young himself upheld. It takes more than winning games to be considered for this award. It takes leading by example, commitment to others and to yourself, being selfless on and off the field, and being a humble person. The Canterbury Under-19 Men's Player of the Year is Johnny Lee. While it's not the loudest by any means, Johnny has a really natural way of getting his point across. He's a young man with outstanding character, a level head and a tireless work rate, all of which were invaluable skills he brought to the Canterbury Under-19 campaign in 2022. Johnny's presence, understanding of the game and skill set are well above his age and are all reasons why this year's Canterbury Under-19 Player of the Year is Johnny Lee. You know, it's pretty um, surreal just kind of still haven't really wrapped my head around it, just hearing some of those big names and just that now, my name's going to be amongst that, it's just, so it hasn't really clicked with me yet, but at the moment just 
just have fun, just don't really think about it too much and just focus on the process and hopefully the outcomes kind of go, go its way. Congrats Johnny, it's such an awesome award to receive. I can't wait to watch you over these next few years. The next award is the Canterbury Rugby B Player of the Year Award. This award is awarded to the Canterbury B Player that has demonstrated on and off the field the Canterbury way. The Canterbury B Men's Player of the Year for 2022 is Mitch Gibson. Off the back of an impressive club season with high school old boys, Mitch carried that form and leadership qualities into the Canterbury B campaign. Mitch had a standout performance against Otago with his natural presence over the ball and displayed excellent qualities with strong carries on attack. Mitch showed plenty of character and determination to perform for Canterbury B, which is why he's been named their Player of the Year. Being a part of a team like this is pretty special, so uh, yeah, absolute honour to receive the award. This club has taken me in, um, come down from Auckland and the club's really taken me in and um, treated me as one of their own and love it here, so yeah, really cool. We had a, a great, great range in the team, we had a bit of youth um, there with all the academy boys, um, but then obviously we had a few older heads this year which was pretty cool, um, like the Timama and Grogan and whatnot. so real cool to get a, a little taste last year of that sort of NPC, um, you know, sort of dangled the carrot there and you're chasing a, always chasing a um, NBC, that's a goal for me. Um, yeah, that's the ultimate goal really, I want to get back into the NPC arena and um, try showcase myself there. Lastly, the final award for tonight is the Canterbury Māori Most Valuable Player. This award is based off three key values, that is leadership on and off the field, connection and development in Te Ao Māori and excellence in their field. 2022 was a breakout year for Billy Harmon. His selection in the All Blacks 15 caps off an outstanding year, which has seen him captain the Canterbury MPC side, own the Māori All Blacks open side position and star for the Highlanders. Billy is developing his knowledge of te reo Māori and it is testament to his commitment to te ao Māori that he should acknowledge his taha Māori when conducting post-match interviews with his use of te reo Māori. Billy follows in the footsteps of older brother Louis Harmon, a previous recipient of this taonga, and hails from the Tuahiwi Hapu, Ngai Tuahuhiri. You know, I didn't really come through, you know, the Canterbury age grade stuff, but, you know, my first sort of break in representative stuff was through Waitaha, so, um, you know, I'm so appreciative of that, and it's been massive for me. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been pretty lucky to be in those uh, setups. You know, it's awesome uh, to be in those teams and be submerged in the culture. You know, they do an awesome job. Uh, we have uh, Luke Crawford, um, and he he sort of runs that whole cultural side, and he does an awesome job of it. And you know, the feedback you get from all the new boys in that team that they just love it. Uh, you know, they've never experienced anything like that. So to be a part of those. Um, Situations are awesome, um, but yeah, to be re rewarded with something like this is pretty awesome. You know, my brothers have actually won this a few times as well, so uh, to win the same award is pretty special. My today is it's not, you know, it's just at the, uh, you know, the beginning of my journey. So uh, something we talked about in the in the Maldives camp was, you know, any chance to you know give back and represent. You know, um, the culture's given me so much, so you know. Doing something like that in Māori is it's the least I can do. Well that's it for tonight team. Congratulations to all our award winners. Awesome work for everything that you're doing. Tune in tomorrow night for our next set of awards which is High Performance. Nice